Many residents decided to exercise their right a little early. That's right. NBC 6's City Simone shares more on that. Good evening. Well, behind me is one of the early voting locations here in Harrison County. Some people say they've been waiting hours to vote. And when we spoke with some of the residents, they each had their own reason as to why they chose to vote today instead of on election night. I couldn't wait to vote. I want to get my vote down. I think the lines are going to get even longer. I think this is a year that everyone's going to vote. I have seen elections before where it was pretty long, but uh, this, this is a little bit surprising on the very first day for it to be like this. Election officials say the extra long wait times are due to strict COVID-19 procedures. This includes wearing a mask and remaining six feet apart. There are also fewer voting stations inside. Despite the long wait, one mother says she brought her 19-year-old twin daughters to vote for the first time. I think it's best to go ahead and do it now. It's something that you stand for and bring my girls and show them that it's, 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 a, positive, it's a positive thing and they need to vote early. I served 20 years in the Marine Corps and there was a lot of times that I didn't know if my vote counted. So when it's early, I want to come out and get it at the first opportunity. I don't want to wait to the last day. There are many ways to vote in the election. Mail-in ballots, in person, and curbside voting is available for people with disabilities. There's no appointment needed. Just pull up and they'll bring the ballot to you. You must have a valid ID or voter registration card. There was a line here at 6.30 whenever I got here this morning to open the building. So um, we are going to have three weeks of early voting. So. Uh, I don't know what is concerning the people so that they just must get out this first day. This election is too important to sit at home and not vote early. I mean, why not get out and vote right now if, if it's you're able to vote? Election officials say early voting will be taking place here for the next three weeks, and you can also drop off your mail-in ballots. Here in Harrison County, Sydney Simone, NBC6 News. Back to you. All right, thank you, Sydney. And early voting takes place from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Check, check with your local election office for precinct locations. Well, coming up, a boil advisory has been issued asking for some Shreveport residents to do just that, boil their water.